okay, I'm going to explain to you why non-interventionism and isolationism are important to having a good country and not having people hate your guts. Because America does not follow this, and now most countries hate America because of that. And if America were to follow non-interventionism and isolationism, they won't have so many enemies. So first of all, what is non-interventionism? Non-interventionism or non-intervention is a foreign policy that holds that political rulers should avoid interfering in the affairs of foreign nation relations, but uh, retained uh, diplomacy and trade while avoiding wars, useless relate and less related to direct self-defense. Not good at reading on a computer, but it's a good thing. So don't just get involved in every single war under the sun, like the Vietnam War or Iraq. Just only do wars for self-defense. It's a good policy to abide by. What about isolationism? Isolationism is a category of foreign policies institutionalized by leaders who assert that nations' best interests are best served by keeping the affairs of other countries at a distance. Another good policy. Okay, America should, you know, like with that, with like pushing for regime change in Iran. You know, it just seems that America is always pushing for regime changes in countries that don't follow the American way of life or, or what America wants, basically. You know, they're not very isolationist. And this is why so many countries hate America. It's because America is constantly forcing the, the American way of life, which is basically moral, morally decadent and all sort of stuff, on other nations. They should be more isolationist and not an interventionist, unless it relates to self-defense or just really important stuff. But regime change in Iran, like what's it America's business to go push for a regime change in countries that don't basically like America, you know? It's like, or America pushing homosexuality around the world with this new policy by Donald Trump he released, I think it was back in February of last year. Uh, we're going to we're gonna push for the global decriminalization of homosexuality, like Obama did the same thing. Um, again, this is why countries hate America. If America were to abide by non-interventionism and isolationism, they won't have so many enemies. That's why Canada doesn't, that's why Canada doesn't have so many enemies. I'm from Canada. That's why we don't have so many enemies. Because we're not, we're not interventionists, and we're not, and we are we're more isolationist. So, that, that's just food for thought. This is why people hate America, like so many countries hate America. If they were just to abide by non-interventionism and isolationism, they wouldn't have so many enemies. So, just for some food for thought, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.